Hi guys, Shana here. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, since that video or that song came out, Bad and Bougie, people have been making videos left, right and center, how to be bad and bougie, how to be bougie in a budget, talking about dupes for designer shoes and dupes for designer handbags, but what about dupes for designer fragrances? What's the point of looking like a million dollars if you smell like a dollar fifty? <laughs> Today's video is Bad and Bougie Fragrances versus Bougie in a Budget Fragrance. The first fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is C by Amarni. This fragrance, is, this is the order perform by the way, it, they have so many different versions of this fragrance. This fragrance is known for the cassis in the opening, which is pretty much black currant, so it has a very fruity opening. It is known for the main rose in the middle, and it is known for the vanilla and fruit, um, woodsy notes at the base. It's very gorgeous, smiley, seductive, very feminine, playful, girly, scent you know it's a fragrance that I would describe as an all-around woman it just has an excellent balance this would be a nice addition to someone's collection and if you are familiar with C Armani but you don't want to purchase this particular fragrance because this this is a 1.7 ounce and this fragrance is retail at a whopping $90 at Sephora or any department store that you might be familiar with the scent but you don't want to come out of your pocket and pay that much may I introduce to you Sophia by Sophia Vergara this fragrance is very beautiful it also opens with black currant it's a little bit more richer in the opening because of the blackberry and the plum that's also in the opening in the center it is very similar with rose scent also closes with vanilla notes and woodsy notes this fragrance Sofia Vergara you could pick up at Burlington for the entire set that comes with lotion and a also a purse spray for $24.99 or if you just want to purchase the bottle you can purchase this bottle at Burlington for like about $19 it's like everywhere guys you can find it at Century 21 you can might you might find it in TJ Maxx you might find it in Marshalls I know it's also on fragrancenet.com for about $20 so $20 for 3.4 ounce of a scent that smells very similar so, see by a morning code for $90. Bad and bougie, bad and bougie on the budget. The next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is La Vie El Belle by Lancome. Now, this fragrance is known for its per perline note that's inside of it, which is basically caramelized sugar and nuts. It is very gourmand, very sexy, but this perfume can cost you a pretty penny retailing for about a hundred and thirty thirty dollars for 3.4 ounce and this fragrance hardly ever goes on sale and even if you do get it for a little bit of discount for 3.4 ounce you will not pay less than ninety dollars I would recommend this fragrance for any girl that's collecting perfume but if you have smelled this fragrance before really like the scent but can't bring yourself to purchase a bottle of La Via Belle for $130, may I present to you Marvelsen Le Elixir. Now guys, you remember the drama with this fragrance? This was a tester that I purchased at FragranceNet.com. Um, I unboxed it in camera and it, the bottle was leaking and the top was a little bit damaged. So let me go briefly to the back story. So I contact FragranceNet.com. Luckily I unboxed this on camera and they asked me for photos of where, like you can see I could twist the top. You're not supposed to be able to do that. They asked me for photos where the, 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 the top is damaged. And really quickly, they sent me 
a brand new bottle without me having to inconvenience myself to send this bottle back. So I end up getting an extra bottle, which I'm so excited for. This fragrance is also have the dominant note of praline inside of it. So it makes it very similar to the La Vie El Bell. Also opens up with black currant, just like the La Vie El Bell. But this one opens up more, a little bit brighter because of the orange and the pink pepper in the opening. So it opens up a little, just, a little bit more happier, I would say, to the La Vie Bell. Both are powdery scent due to the iris in the middle. They both contain jasmine in the middle. And like I said, both of them are dominant with the praline notes for the base. The La Vie Bell that makes the patchouli in the La Vie Bell makes it a little bit more earthy, a little bit more dirty. This does not have patchouli, but it does have oud that gives the same effect. So the scents between the two are very, very similar. The Mabusin Le Elixir, that is the comparison of the La Vie Bell and the Sofia Vergara, that is the comparison of the Sia Marni, lasting power is just as long as the original scent. You can pick up the Mabusin Le Elixir at FragranceNet.com for lower than $20. This fragrance does not need any introduction whatsoever. This is Viva La Juicy, the original by Juicy Couture. All of the Viva La Juicy line with the exception, I believe, of Rosé and maybe Glacé has a very dominant caramel note in the base. Makes the fragrance very seductive, very alluring. It just oozes seduction. Very pretty scent. Men absolutely love this scent. But this is the 1.7 ounce. And I believe the cheapest you could get this bottle for, although it's not as pricey. I mean, the original price for it is pricey. But you could pick this bottle up, the 1.7 ounce, for about $35 to $40. I have two dupes. For the Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture. This is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. This is Pink Friday Special Edition also from Nicki Minaj. Both fragrances are dominant in the caramel note. The caramel note is mostly profound in the Pink Friday original and that's because it also carries similar DNA to the Viva La Juicy with the vanilla note that's in the base. It opens up just like the Viva La Juicy with um, citrus notes. In the heart, just like the Viva La Juicy, carries notes of jasmine and of course the caramel and the vanilla in the base. This one is a little less seductive, a little bit more girly, but has similar DNA to the Viva La Juicy. However, this one opens up with raspberry and apple, but it still has the honeysuckle and jasmine note in the middle and still closes with the caramel note in the base. It does not have a vanilla note, so it makes it a little less seductive, a little bit more girly. This is a teenage version of Viva La Juicy. Last, but certainly not least, I definitely left the best for last. This is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Everyone knows this fragrance. This is what we all aspire to be. We all aspire to be this beautiful, girly, well-balanced, have everything you know youth and beauty and seduction this is popular for its very bright citrusy opening but it has like this calm creamy seduction in the middle and of course have the like earthy notes at the base due to the patchouli and the vetiver and the musk. This fragrance, the 3.4 ounce, will run you up $130, of course, plus tax. Never have I ever smelled a fragrance that smells so close to one another. This is Club de Noite by Armand. 
this fragrance smells so much like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle it's insane and it smells just as luxurious it doesn't smell cheap whatsoever the longevity on this fragrance is amazing Coco Mademoiselle I mean that's hard to beat it lasts forever and this it's right up there it's amazing how they get this fragrance to smell like how it smells to not smell cheap, to be very long wearing, and for the price point, it's insane. It carries similar notes to the Coco Mademoiselle by opening up with very citrusy notes. This is a little bit more fruitier because it has peach and lychee, which I enjoy, believe it or not, over the Coco Mademoiselle. They both have jasmine in the heart, they both have rose in the heart. And they both have, at the base, vetiver, musk, and patchouli. It's insane how close the Club de Nuit by our moth and the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle smell. I mean, you wear this and nobody can tell you you don't smell like a million dollars. Impossible for them to tell you you don't smell like a million dollars. But you want to know how much this is going to cost you? This gigantic 3.6 ounce bottle is going to cost you less than $19 on FragranceNet.com. Have your jaw drop? Because my jaw surely dropped when I saw the price point on this fragrance that smells so close to this bottle that I picked up at Macy's for $130 plus tax. You're all set guys, you're all set. You have your designer dupes Valentinos, you have your designer dupes Gucci handbag, and now you have your designer dupes fragrances. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I see you in the next video. Bye.